Hello and welcome to the New World Review, your source for everything anime and manga, and today I bring some sad news, which is why I'm not quite as chipper as I usually would be in my intros, but really I wasn't sure if I should cover this or not because it's not the sort of thing my channel usually tackles, but given how predominantly Hunter x Hunter content tends to feature on this channel, I thought it somewhat appropriate to inform anybody who doesn't already know that, very unfortunately, Keiji Fujiwara, better known to many of us as the voice of Leorio in the 2011 anime, passed away on the 12th of April this year. Now very notably, this was not the result of the current global pandemic, and it was instead due to cancer. And apparently Fujiwara had been tackling this issue seriously ever since mid-2016, when his talent agency, his talent agency that he founded, by the way, but it announced that he would be taking a hiatus to undergo medical treatment for an unspecified illness. So you know, very much following in the uh, Hunter Hunter footsteps there with the hiatus, but he did resume work in mid-2017, and as far as I'm aware, he had been working very solidly up until recently. And obviously I extend my deepest sympathy to Fujiwara's family and friends at this time, but I also did want to take a brief moment to pay tribute to how his work has impacted me. As many of you know, my Hunter x Hunter initiation was via the 2011 anime, and honestly, Leorio's voice was one of the things that had me pretty instantly hooked and invested into the early days of the series. The Hunter exam isn't, well, you know, it's, it's not the greatest of arcs, let's be honest, but Fujiwara brought such gruff, energetic, and even a sympathetic performance to the character of Leorio, and it's pretty depressing to think that if and when the Hunter x Hunter anime ever continues, which is a big if, I will admit that, but if and when that happens, that Fujiwara just won't be a part of it. And this is far from the only impact that Fujiwara has had on me and millions of others, because if you take a look through this man's CV, it is absolutely absurd, and the amount of projects that he has been involved in just boggles the mind. So for example, he was the voice of Reno in just about every Final Fantasy VII project, including the remake that was just released, but another very formative role was that of Mars Hughes in both iterations of Full Metal Alchemist, being the original anime and of course Brotherhood. And you know, as much as I have pretty incredibly strong opinions on both of those series, one of the great constants of quality was Mars Hughes, because Fujiwara, just as with Leorio, did a supreme job of turning Hughes into a gripping personality, someone who you really felt that you could not live without. And going back an awfully long way to a series I was watching in high school, which you know, I'm 30 now, so that was a while ago, but Fujiwara was also Holland in Eureka 7, which blew my mind when I found that out. But when I think about it in retrospect, I can very clearly hear his voice in my mind delivering Holland's lines. Interestingly enough for Japanese specific audiences though, Fujiwara's voice was absolutely massive in the dub scene as he was the actor who would portray Robert Downey Jr.'s characters. So for example, Fujiwara was Tony Stark in the entire Japanese incarnation of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, as well as all of his other characters like Sherlock Holmes. And here's something really, really strange that has no effect on me, I haven't even seen it, but I just thought it was interesting, which is that apparently Fujiwara was also the voice dubbing Cuba Gooding Jr. in The People vs. O.J. Simpson, which essentially means that alongside Leorio and Mars Hughes, Fujiwara has also played O.J. Simpson. So that just goes to show the range of performative depth that this man had. And back to the realm of games, he was also fan favorite Axel in various Kingdom Hearts titles. So, you know, he had something of a penchant for playing the cool hotshot style of character. And usually with red hair when it came to games. More recently though, Fujiwara was also cast as Ryokugyu in One Piece. And if you're in any way familiar with One Piece, you'll know that this is kind of odd because this character has never actually been seen. He's appeared once in silhouette with pieces of dialogue, but he is intended to be a wildly important character in the future, which is assumedly why Toei went to the trouble of hiring an actor of Fujiwara's ilk to voice those handful of lines that Ryukugyu had. And once again, it's very sad to know that One Piece will need to move forward with someone else inhabiting the role. But I'm not just gonna sit here and list off all his credits because we will be here all day. So I guess to summarize this video, I just wanna say thank you to Keiji Fujiwara for his lifetime of work, which I'm 100% certain that you will have come across in one way or another. I'll leave a link to his credits in the description below. But to end, I just want to say that I can only imagine what those clothes to him are going through right now. But I also think that this is as good a time as any to celebrate the life of one of the most prolific voice actors in the entire anime, and in fact, you know what, forget anime, in the entire voice acting industry. So thank you for everything, and rest in peace, good sir.